or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I am a mummy of two and a wife of one. Today I'm just going to do a little chat about budgeting and how I budget and how I manage our monthly income and expenditure. Um, budgeting is a very, very important subject. Apparently it's the number one thing that couples argue about and I can really understand why. I've been struggling lately with managing our budget, just been overspending, you know, you go in as to grab a loaf of bread and you come out and you spent 25 quid. Dear loaf of bread, right? So yeah, I thought I would go back to basics and what I'm going to show you now is what I used to do years and years and years ago, but lately that's just all gone out the window and I've just thought, sod it, I'll go in with all my money and it all gets spent and it's gone so I'm going back to basics so this is how I budget um, I do it there's four steps basically that I do step number one what you want to do first of all is work out your overall income so whatever you've got coming into the household um, whether that be your wages, your salary, child benefits, other types of benefits, just whatever you've got coming into the household over the month. Work that out first. Step number two. What you want to do now is work out all of your utilities. So basically the way I do it, I've come up with like a spreadsheet that I use. I just did this simply on my computer and I do one of these every single month. So what it is, you've got your bills down this side of the, the paper. So you've got your rent, council tax, gas, electric, sky, TV, water, car insurance, breakdown, phones, Diesel, debts, any savings that you might have coming out every, any month, whatever kind of utilities, whatever you need to pay every single month to make sure your house runs like clockwork, put on this piece of paper. Everything apart from groceries and anything spare, just anything that you've got to pay that you would call under kind of utilities. I also put birthdays and Christmases on mine. If we have a birthday that month, I make sure I budget that in. And for Christmas, I make sure I try to put a little bit back each month so it helps at the end of the year. So what I do next is I put down the amount of each item and when it's got to be paid. And then when it comes out of the bank, I tick it off or cross it off so I know that that's been done. So yes, so this is step two. So what you want to do with this, you want to work out or add all these up together, work out how much it comes to, and then minus this away from your overall income that you did in step one. And that would be how much money you've got left that you've got for groceries and your other kind of treats. So that's step two done, guys. So on to step three, what I then do is I work out my grocery budget. So it all depends on how many weeks you've got in that month. Obviously in August, it's a five week month. So I've got week one, two, three, four, and five. So I've worked out how much that we normally kind of spend on groceries or how much I try to spend. <laughs> So this month I've allowed 400, which breaks down to about 80 pounds a week. So what I'll do, I'll get the money for the month out of the bank. I'll put all that in here and I'll keep this somewhere very, very safe in my house. Then when I go to do the food shop, I try to go to ID or Lidl's and what I'm going to start doing from this month onwards is only go in once a week. I've got into this awful habit, I'll go in once, I'll do all my big food shop and then I go back to Asda or somewhere two, three, four times a week and there's another 50 quid blown. I have no idea how I do it and then in the last couple of weeks I end up with no money left for no food. Hence why I'm going back to budgeting. 
So yes, what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to put all the money in here, I'm going to go and do one shop a week. I'm going to go and do this in Aldi or Lidl's because I find that they are the best value and you can get everything that you need in there. So I'll take out, say I'm on week one, I'll go and do my shopping, I'll take my £80, I'll go and do the food shop. If there's any of this £80 left, I will then put it back in this envelope. Then if on one of the other weeks the it comes to more than £80, then I'll have some spare in here to use. Or at the end of the month, if you've spent less than what you've needed every week, at the end of the month you'll have spare money in here. And what I'm going to do with that is put it into a little savings pot because I want to start doing some savings, you know, for a rainy day or if you ever need it. So that will go into the pot. So yes, that's your groceries. What I'm also going to do at the end of every single week is put the receipt inside of the envelope. So then at the end of the month, you can look back at your receipts, you can look back at what you've spent, what you've needed, what you could try to cut down on. If you're trying to cut down on this overall figure, you know, you can you can work it out from there. A lot of the time I go in Aldi's or Lidl's and I pick up these special buys and I don't need them. I just pick them up because they're there. So obviously I can look back at the receipt, I can have a look at it and think, well, I didn't need that, I didn't need that. And then next month I might try to cut the budget down and not pick up these unnecessary items. So that's what I do for step three. <clears throat> so step four, this is what I call my other envelope. So this is basically what I allow myself for spare. So this might be days out with the kids, going to the park, grabbing an ice cream, a haircut, a new top, if the kids need any new clothes, anything along those lines. This is the kind of spare cash to do what you want or what, yeah, basically what you want with. So I've worked out how much I can afford on my budget. This month I've allowed myself a bit more because the kids are on their six week summer holidays and obviously I want to take them out on some day trips and things. So I've allowed myself 300 this month and divided by the five weeks is £60 a week. Now if you want to do something that's quite expensive, say you want to go to Longley or you know a theme park or something like that and you know it's going to cost quite a lot of money, then what you can do, say on week one or week two or whatever, you do something that's, you know, a lot cheaper, go to some parks, get some ice creams, do some in-house activities, spend a lot less than this £60, and then you can roll whatever's left from this one over to the next one. And then you'll have enough money to go and do that big thing that you wanted to do. So it's about budgeting, it's about understanding that you can't do three, four, five, six great big things a month. You might only be able to do one really good thing, but then you might be able to do lots of di um, different small things on the other weeks. So yeah, that's basically what I do for other. Obviously, at the end of each week, if there's any money left, I will put it back into this envelope and I can carry that on to another week so that I can do something good with the kids. Or at the end of the month, again, if there's any money spare in this envelope, I can then transfer it into my savings tin. What I'm also going to do again is put anything that I buy, I'm going to pop the receipts in here. So that again at the end of the month I can look back at my spending, see where I can cut down, see what I've brought that I didn't necessarily need and really try to you know, cut that spending down. So yeah, I'm going to really try my best to stick to these i'm gonna see if it will help me this did used to help me in the past i did really well doing this so yes that is basically how i budget our monthly income our expenditure and how i have spare money for days out and stuff with the kids so yes guys that's it from me for today i hope you found this video useful if you've got any hints tips or tricks or you want to you know let pe other people know how you budget or how you manage your income or expenditure please feel free to drop a comment down below and i make sure i read all my comments and i will answer any questions back
if you have any questions for me about anything you want if it's to do with budgeting or anything else that you want to know please don't be afraid to drop me a question down below and I will be really and I will be really happy to answer that for you so yeah that's it from me today guys I hope you enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up if you did if you want to see more from me soon, including more budgeting um, videos, debt videos, anything like that, I'm gonna I'm gonna do kind of a little series on budgeting and debt and things like that because I think it's really really important. So yeah, if you want to see any more of that from me, guys, then please push on the little subscribe button, and if you click the bell button as well, that will let you know when I upload next so that you don't miss a video. Thank you very much guys, I will see you very soon, bye!